In a world full of Commodore 64 repair videos, one man dares dedicate an entire YouTube channel to weird computers. I figure I've played around enough with the Spark Station 5 on the channel that it's about time I finally got a working Spark Station 10. Now this is the Spark Station 10 that I had previously on the channel that wasn't working and still isn't working, but may yet work someday. This is another Spark Station 10 that I acquired, I want to say October 2022. And then in December 2022, I kind of went on a little bit of a <laughs> an eBay shopping spree for Spark related toys and bought some upgrades, downgrades, uh, lateral job changes. I, I, I got some stuff <laughs> and I'm going to play around with that stuff. Weird input devices. From the point of view of games on the PlayStation and the few that support it on the PlayStation 2, these two controllers are the same. This one is a very recognizable driving controller. But it was really this kind of silly looking thing that, that started it all. And even before the PlayStation had been released in America, I had heard about this controller and I wanted one. <laughs> More weird computers. When I first saw this PC6300 um, listed online, I didn't think too much of it until I looked at one of the pictures at the back and I saw what was obviously a sound card. And as a general rule, old sound cards that have a little volume knob like this are expensive. So that's when it caught my interest. Weird processors. Pentium 2 and Pentium 3 CPUs in this kind of form factor, slot one, are pretty common. However, Pentium 2 and Pentium 3 CPUs in this form factor are a lot less common. Even more weird computers. I started doing Unixtober in 2021, and the reality is it was pretty much always Sparktober. I'm going to fix that this year, and I'm going to have a real Unix workstation that's not a Spark and that's not an Alpha. Weird motherboards. This is an exceptionally uncommon Pentium 3 era motherboard. Not because it's dual processor and not because it's got 64-bit PCI slots, but because of something else it has going on. And there's a lot here to talk about. Weird disk drives. While this looks like some kind of a dual disk drive chassis of some kind, and that's what I thought it was when I bought it, it turns out it's some kind of stuff so weird I don't I don't even have a clue what it is. I really don't. Weird processor upgrades. Now, this fairly plain looking styrofoam packed <laughs> Amiga accelerator with a crinkly wrapper looks about like any of, you know, a dozen or more different 68,000 based accelerators for Amiga 500 and Amiga 2000s. But this one has something a little bit special going on that, that sets it apart. And there were a few like this, but not very many that had this kind of neat trick going on. Did did I did I mention weird no computers? jokes or nonsense this year for March and Tosh? I promise. <laughs> I've had this Mac 2FX for basically a year, so I figure it's about time I got around to fixing it. This particular system has some features that I think are unique to this particular model of Mac. Weird software. Back in the day, I had never heard of the game Turmoil. I didn't discover this game until sometime after I had started collecting I started collecting like 2013 so it was sometime after that that I that I came across this game and I feel like it's kind of 
the ultimate Atari 2600 experience of just pick up and play and just frenetic gameplay. So I was super stoked when I found out that someone was doing a conversion of this game for the Mattel Aquarius. I backed them on, on Kickstarter. Uh, and yeah, as soon as I saw it, I was like, all right, I'm, I'm in. <laughs> I haven't opened it. I have an Aquarius that I've never used for anything. And so it just, this, this just seems right. This just seems right. Weird stuff. I thought a little teaser trailer video of various videos that I have in progress and that are, that are in the works might be a fun way to start the year. If there are any of those videos that you are particularly interested in seeing sooner rather than later, definitely let me know in the comments. That may affect the order that I try to, you know, schedule things in. If there's any that you think just look boring and that you're not interested in at all, let me know that too. Maybe I'll put those off and, uh, you know, find other stuff. I've definitely got tons of stuff around here that, <laughs> that one of these days I'm going to do videos about. So if you enjoyed this, as always, click the like button. If you'd like to see those videos as they come out, click the subscribe button. And until next time, try to remember the good stuff.